Okay, so we have the question, how do I grow things all year round? Okay, how do I always make sure we've got food? Really big question at the moment, especially with the, where the world is going. So looking at my strawberry plant here, which I don't think you can see as well as I can. It looks absolutely gorgeous, just, you know, just saying. Um, remember how I said it was a perennial? So it's always going to have the leaves, but it'll only be fruiting once a year. So I'm wasting a little bit of space there. But I've got my couple of plants of coriander in here and a couple on the other side. Now, once these are ready to harvest, I can just harvest the whole plant. Or, as they're growing, I can harvest some of the outside leaves. Now, if I had some spinach in here, and I'm actually sprouting some climbing spinach at the moment, which I will have coming up here, I can harvest a couple of those leaves each day. Isn't that awesome? We can have what we call our ongoing food happening. Or I can just harvest the whole plant as I need it. Now, we talk about staggered gardening. What does staggered gardening mean? It means if you have a little greenhouse that you can use, awesome. Because what you can do is every two weeks, plant something, plant a seed, say two seeds, in where you're growing your seeds. So start growing little seedlings from seeds every two weeks. That way, when you're harvesting out of here, you've got something you can then replace it with. Okay, so you're taking food out of your aquaponic system and you're replacing it straight away. It's no good me putting, say, two punnets worth of basil in here. Now, I, I love pesto and I love basil, so that, you know, that's okay. But if all I'm doing is growing two punnets worth of basil, well, it's all going to be ready at the same time, won't it? So I'm going to have to use it all at the same time. It can be frozen and we can do lots of different things with it. Or I can be sprouting some seeds in my little greenhouse here. Every couple of weeks, when it's seasonal, I can be sprouting them in there and have them growing so that when I'm ready to harvest my basil here, I can go and replace it with another plant. Or maybe the basil season is at its end and the coriander season has hit. I can replace it that way. So we, what's what we call staggered growth. But that means that we can actually have food all year round. And this is the great opportunity to get back in connection with nature, okay? Because nature is all about seasons, yeah? So that means some things will grow in winter, some things will grow in summer, and some things in everywhere in between. And some things will just grow all the way, all, all year round, okay? But helping us to reconnect with nature means that we're growing and we're eating what's in season at that time. Rather than going to the supermarket and expecting something and then going, oh my God, that's 20, 20 bucks, 10 bucks for, for a per kilo for this. It's probably that expensive because it's not in season. Growing your own helps you to reconnect with what's in season and eat accordingly. So right now it's winter time. So throughout my, my various areas of my yard, I have different root crops growing. And they're not in my aquaponic systems, they're in the wicking beds and I've got um, beetroot, I've got carrot, I actually do carrot and beetroot all year round. I've got swedes, turnips, parsnips and a couple of red onions. Well you know what? I put all of them in my soups in winter so it's perfect that they're growing now. I grow them and I grow a heap of them, I then freeze them and they're ready to go in my soup pot. I've just got to pull the freezer bag out and tip that into my soup pot when ready. And I love soups in winter, That's a, I don't know if it's a me thing, but I absolutely lo I love my soups. And I love my veggie soup specifically because it's just warming, nurturing, and I don't know, it very, reminds me of my family and, and their traditions. So reconnecting with nature and with our ecosystem and what's seasonal is an excellent way of going. But the best way of having food ongoing is to stagger how you're planting. Yeah? Excellent.